Hey guys, so I recently received a package from FedEx and I did peek into it. It is full of the new L'Oreal launch products. So if you guys are interested in seeing what they are and possibly a few quick swatches, then just keep watching. The mascara that everyone is talking about, Lash Paradise. I already have full makeup on today, but I am really excited to try this. They sent me the waterproof in black, the regular in blackest brown, and the regular in blackest black, which is awesome. Let's see, we have some, I'm gonna just pull these all out and then I'll tell you. Okay, so the mascara, which is awesome. They also sent me their new infallible paints. There are two metallic ones that I received. These are 336 and 334, so let's check those out. Oh, they're wands. I was expecting like a squeezy tube. All right, this is 336. It's like a pretty chocolate brown metallic-y color. 334, Smoldering Eclipse. The other one was Liquid Venom. Hmm. So 334, let's see. They have a nice little, like the little, what do they call it? The chair applicator. It's got like the little divot. Those are pretty. Maybe a little too dark for me, but they're nice colors. They also sent me their Infallible Paints Mattes Collection. These are the ones that I am excited to try, so. Let's start with 340 Skinny Dip. Oh, that would be perfect for today. I'm wearing like a shirt with like peach, peach roses on it. That would match perfectly. So I might take off my lip product and put that one on later on. 342 is Tongue Tied. Well, that one's nice too. Hmm. Choices, choices. 346 Festival. It comes out with a lot of product on it, so definitely I would suggest wiping some off so you don't get huge chunks. Ooh, I like that one too. All of these are very nice. Their wearable colors are not quite so out there as their previous line was with I think blue and purple. And next we have 348, this is a velvet pout. Looks like a grayish velvet color. Yep. That'd be nice for winter. I mean, you can wear these colors anytime, but that's just probably when I would get the most use out of it is in the winter or the cooler months. And this last one is 350 and it is Cinnabon. Cute. And that one's like a deep, brown with a hint of red. So that's a good name for it. And I think I am going to wipe off my lip product. Okay. And I wanted to try 340 skinny dips. So let's do this. That's lighter than I thought. But it's nice and opaque. I don't have to apply multiple layers. It builds up nicely. Will you guys be able to take me take me seriously if I wear this for the rest of the video. It's a little light. I thought it would be more pinky toned on the lips. It looks a little bit more like concealer on my lips. But it's fine. It's fun. It matches the shirt. So we're going to roll with it. All right. Next we have 
some new brow products. The I have definer and designer. Tricky. All right, the designer brow stylist has a, looks like a crayon and a spoolie. And then the brow stylist definer has one of the ultra fine tip shaping pencils and the spoolie, which is usually what I prefer because you do not have to sharpen them. So that is awesome. I was needing a new brow product. See, we also have two other mascaras. These are the Butterfly Collection. I have Voluminous Butterfly Waterproof Fanned Out Volume, and I have Voluminous Butterfly Sculpt Waterproof. And this one is Fanned Out Volume at Tips and Tight Line Effect at Roots. Oh, nice, you don't have to do a liner. I don't know why they always send waterproof. I'm not a big fan of waterproof mascara but I can still tell how they work. So I will be curious to see how those apply. Let's see, ooh, their Infallible Pro Glow Concealer, and this is the shade Nude Beige. That might be a little dark for me right now, but this is the color right here. Actually, maybe not, since I have a tan that, that may work. It's supposed to stay glowy like this. I always set my concealer, so I'm gonna, so I wonder how this works once it's set. Maybe I'll just have to set it with a glowy powder and look what's next. <laughs> they planned that. The Infallible Pro Glow, what is this called? Long wear powder, I think that's all it says. Lasting glow powder, never cakey, never shiny. It says it has a luminous finish, medium coverage, and air light texture. Okay, so this is 21 Classic Ivory. It looks like you get like a shimmery side. Well, not even shimmery, just a glow side and maybe a more matte side. That's what it looks like. So here's the top one, which is definitely a glow. And then more of a matte. So let me see how the glow one goes on top of the concealer that I just used right here. So I guess if you wanna keep the glowy look, I would suggest using the top portion of one of these little powder compacts. And inside you also get the little poof and a mirror, which is nice. So it's kind of everything you need in here but it is very, very light coverage. I mean, it says medium coverage, but I feel like it's a little bit on the lighter side. I wonder how this would work as a highlight though. So that gives you a little bit of a glow on the face. It's not meant as a highlight, I don't believe. I think it's meant as like a glowing setting powder, but there are no rules in makeup, so do what you'd like. So this is nice, it's pretty soft. I actually like the blue plastic, it's different. I like that they're kind of differentiating that these are the Pro Glow items, not the Pro Matte. All right, and then the last item in this bag is the Infallible Paints Metallics Shadows. I've heard that these are really, really good. You guys wanna see swatches? I know you do. So, let's see, 406. Oh, I don't wanna, I don't wanna ruin the pretty design. <laughs> All right, let's see. That's pretty intense. Whoa, that's nice. That reminds me of how a ColourPop shadow would apply. It's not a cream, it's not a powder. It's like somewhere in the middle. That's really pretty. You guys see it right there? So that's 406. Here is 404 caged. I was trying not to mess up the gorgeous designs. I mean, look, one swipe and these are super metallic. And then finally, 400 rose chrome. I'm trying not to mess with the design, but that's pretty. It's like peach with a hint of gold in it. So I didn't even have to really touch it much. 
your design is still intact. And there is the color. Really pretty. So I am very excited to try these. Hope you guys enjoyed this kind of unbagging new from L'Oreal video. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and as always, I will see you in my next video. Bye guys!